Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. I'm your Excel Guru and today I'll be uh, telling you how to make a create a pivot table. Pivot tables are used to create uh, very good reports, very simple reports, uh, uh, even complex reports out of complex data. Uh, I have taken a this is a huge amount of data and let us see how people can help us in some in the best way possible uh, our aim would be to summarize the data country wise then have the breakdown as per the product and then from there on we'll take it all right so within the control a click on insert and click on pivot table on the drop down menu choose pivot table it says select your table range it will automatically select this table range and you have already selected the table range and ensure that you have named your headers your columns should be named i have given names over here and then choose new worksheet because in existing worksheet it becomes very very cluttered so it's best better to have it in a new worksheet so click okay it will create a new worksheet in your existing workbook and this is the place where the pivot table would be created and this is from where it would be created it's a drag and drop job a very very good thing see uh, the uh, these are the names of your headers and these are four basic things which control how a pivot would look like the first is report filter uh, I'll put in country over here now what it does is it allows me to see data whatever data we'll have as per country uh, country wise or the complete data together all right and then i'll put in first thing i want is the data as per the country so i'll take it i'll drag this thing to the row label so if you see it appeared over here and then i would like the products to be mentioned just beneath the countries like which products are selling in which country so the products are now mentioned over here as per country now I would like to see the sales so I'll take sales and drag it to the values column this column is basically for numbers and there are different formats for numbers I'll tell you three tell you uh, if you just click on it it will show you value field settings here you can have this sum as it's reflecting over here you can have a count you can have the average the max the min minimum the product the count of numbers standard deviation standard deviation population variation variation population all you can have any of these things mentioned over here you can even format your numbers from here you want percentages you can have the data in percentages over here so this is how this thing works now this is the product that has come in over here so I'll keep it to sum all right now I would like a breakdown of the sales month wise to be visible so I'll click it and I'll take it to the values column see the month wise figures are also coming over here you can play with it uh, see product name as of now is in row label I can take it to the columns label and things would change Austin Martin BMW uh, let me remove uh, Jan and Feb so it will become easier see now you have it product wise this way that's the reason why it is called pivot table you can move your data around so I'll take it back over here again simple drag and drop I can even incorporate the cities over here see Honda was sold only in Delhi and in India and Mazda in Bombay so you can now work out okay so Honda can be sold in Delhi also Honda can be sold in Bombay also and Mazda can be sold in uh, India in Delhi also so you get to know you can find out uh, which was your highest performer uh, say category wise by using the max formula and it's very easy to uh, remove things you just click over here and remove field you can this field is gone it's so very easy and you can even even now since we had this field 
uh, country field ah it's gone report filter so now you can have it country wise i s choose india or i choose usa thank you uh, thank you to uh, thank you to the people in usa and uk uh, i am getting a lot of support from you people uh, thank you once again so i click on okay and here's the data for us uh, bmw chevrolet and volvo i uh, chevrolet is my favorite i happen to use this brand myself i, I own a, a, a car by of this brand a wonderful car a wonderful car and same way you can see multiple uh, data also here so i choose us and uk now comes both and bmw chevrolet ferrari mercedes volvo so you can have multiple data over here so this is how pivot tables work you click over here and you can even go to these options over here and you show options and you can name your pivot from here very simple things and then uh, you can actually choose one more thing which is very very important is you can choose to refresh data whenever opening the file so whenever uh, you open the file it will refresh the data so you can choose over here and say and you have added some more data over here and the pivot table which will reflect once you have made the table and you add more data over here then you need to go over here and right click it and click on refresh and it will have new data incorporated over here it's so very simple pivot tables uh, can be mastered with practice and by practice uh, let me tell you that this excel file shown in this video is available for free download at my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com uh, website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com you go to the training files page here's the training files page and you would be able to download the training files from here without any charge nothing at all and on the home page uh, you would be able to view the when you go to the home page you would be able to view the latest latest uh, videos uh, that are available the video that you're looking at right now is also available to for viewing and on my website also you can also go to free stuff this link uh, has wonderful templates which you can use in your day-to-day -day life like maintaining your budget uh, and such stuff wonderful thing wonderful thing to have uh, I would also like you to kindly share this work of uh, with your friends on by you are watching this on YouTube so you can share this just click over here ho on this button and share it on Facebook and Twitter so that more and more people get access to this video and you can also follow me on Facebook and uh, you can find me by there by the name of Excel made easy I would like you to like my page and share it so that we can spread knowledge that's my motto let's share knowledge so this is your Excel guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy excel learning